in this demonstration, we're going to show you what happens when you load a page, um, when you build it by default and you have, let's say, two tables on the page. You can see that when the page load, we're monitoring the network traffic and you would see both tables being fetched. So you would see two REST calls, one for department and one for employees. And those are fetched even though you don't see the tables on the, ta on the page. If you actually expand those collapsible areas, you'll see the tables with the data that we fetched into them. So in some cases, you don't want to fetch it immediately. You want to fetch the data only when you actually need to show it. This would allow you to have a faster initial start load of the page. So let's see how we can do this. Here's our page. We have this collapsible area over here, and inside it, there's the table. What we're going to do is we're going to define a new variable in our page. This is going to be a Boolean type of variable that based on this value, we're going to decide whether we want to show the table or not show the table. Okay? We're setting the, val the default value of the variable to false. And then we're going to the table for employees and we're going to surround it with an if component. So this is the OJ bind if component. It's based on a variable, Boolean one, so we're going to base it on our variable that we defined with a false value, which means that initially the table won't show up. In fact, if I switch right now into live mode and I would expand the employees, you can see the table is not there. Okay, But we do want to show the table, um, and to show the table, all we need to do is basically set the variable to two. We're going to do this by using the event on the collapsible area. We're going to add an event over here for expanding the component. And inside this, we're going to use an assign variable action to assign a value to the variable. We'll set it to two. This is, again, a Boolean variable. So this is a static assign over here. Once we do this, the table will be uh, shown and the data would be fetched at that point of time. Now, one thing you can see here is that there's a little problem with the display right now because of synchronization of the action of fetching the data and the collapsible. Things are not exactly in place. So you might want to use this um, component action on the collapsible area to set a, a refresh on it. Okay. So again, if we look at the collapsible area over here and not the heading, we actually want the collapsible section here. We're going to give it an recognizable ID, okay? Uh, AMP call in our case. And then in our action chain, we're going to use this ID to identify the component and we're going to call a refresh on it. If we're doing it this way, um, you'll see that we remove this issue with the display. If we expand it, table shows up in the right place. Now let's run the page to show you uh, the impact on network traffic. Okay, so again, we're running the page from scratch. We're loading all the things that are related to the page. And you'll see that when the page finished loading on our UI, you're only going to see one REST call being done, and this is for the departments. And that's because we didn't condition this one, but the employees hasn't been fetched yet. However, when we going to uh, clear here and click on employees, you're going to see we're executing the fetch to get the employees only then. And this is how you accelerate the initial load of the page. Uh, you pay for it a little bit in later on down the line because you need to fetch the data before you're going to show it. Okay. So this is a one way to accelerate the initial load of your page. And I wanted to show you one more thing, which is a scenario where you can't accelerate things, things are taking long. One of the ways to help customers adjust to it is to show them a message telling them, hey, we're fetching data right now. So I'm going to take the action chain we already have. I'm going to make it run a little bit longer by calling another REST service in there. And we're not going to do anything with the other REST service, just getting data in order to delay the overall time it takes this action to complete. And this now is going to take, let's say, a couple of seconds. So what we want to show is uh, we're going to use a dialogue on the page. We're going to add a dialogue to the page. And we're going to pop a dialogue that says to people, hey, we're actually busy doing something. So we're showing the dialogue. We're going to put some text over here. You can also put a progress bar if you want to, to show actual progress being done. And um, we're just showing a message saying, hey, we're fetching the data. 
So by default, this dialog, again, we're going to give it a recognizable ID and we're going to hide it by default so it doesn't show up, right? But when we're going to actually fetch the data, the long running action, we're going to use a call component method on this dialog to open it at the beginning of this action. Okay, so we're calling the open over here. Then we're going to spend the two seconds, five seconds, whatever it's going to take. And then at the end, we're going to automatically close the same dialog. Okay, so now when you run the application, the user is going to see this dialog pops up, letting him know why he's waiting. Again, this is useful for very long running queries. So for example, over here, we got the fetching data opening and closing automatically.